Traveling to Dovermint, going through the Centerberry, he made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. Apparently we don't like our parents. Oh, great. Oh. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Okay, I can't be torn, so we need to either not go that way, or find a way through it. Let's check over here, see if we can find any oil. Awesome oil. Uh, before I go through there, let's go back. Check out everything in this room. Make sure I don't miss anything. Heard like, it sounded like there was someone back here. Fill it. Ah, that's how you fill it. Wait. Lantern oil, okay. Okay, now I see, I see. Sanity, crystal clear, health, all is good. Okay, that's. What's in the cellar? It's just a door that I do not want to go in right now. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. I think we came from there. Okay, I guess that's not something we can pick up. And that is locked, obviously. No, we didn't come from there. But we have to get to the inner sanctum, which... I'm guessing we're gonna go this way because that's where the noise from the chick came from. So let's go through here. Laboratory. That sounds. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew it would never again see the old tailor in Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London it seemed appropriate somehow. It's still dark in here. Cockroaches. Goody. Still pretty dark. 
work. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of the less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Okay, so he moved it to the wine cellar. So that's the next place we gotta go to. Um, after we check this place for stuff. There should be more coop racks. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment or are given in the cult. Cooperite binds them well this time. I'll attempt aqua regi instead of aqua fortis in hope it will prove produce a more even solution. Their experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. I will see them and one part aqua force. One day I'll return if it wasn't for the thought of you, my love. I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave for fair judgment and it's a safe return. Okay, so that's what that does. We got Tinder. Drawer. Empty drawer. Okay, time to get out of here. Whew. The children cheered him on as name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. Uh-oh. Okay. How am I doing on this? I'm almost... Ah, uh, great. I'm running low. I gotta use that more sparingly. Let's open this up. Close that behind us. And... What? Oh, right, he kept it. He kept it in the, uh, the other place. Do you see, Captain? Wine cellar, right? Which is down here. Will not open without a key. Last option was the archives up there. And if it's not there, then we missed something. That's boarded. That's hay. There we go. 
fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received his, the first, first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Ah, oh, great. That doesn't sound good. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should... Okay, yep, yeah, whatever. Nothing. Great, more nothing. Shirts, but no key. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Trap is not good. That's freaky. What was that?
Okay, I totally just saw something in the other room. My mind is playing tricks on me already. Can I not open that? The chest or something. Come on. Running out of fuel, not good. Gotta hurry this up. Won't open, it's locked. Almost ran out. Good, got more oil. Whew. Running pretty low there for a second. Okay. What? The hell was that? That's not good. Not good. 17th May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most a relic. Okay, let's uh find this key and get out of here. Um where is it? Come on. Give me a freaking key. A 
must find a new way out of this area. Oh, great. Wonderful. Can't break the window. Can I go through the wall? Not breakable by hand. Is there a rock I can pick up? There we go. Stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. What? Some sort of mechanism? I'm not even going to try to pronounce that castle. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt, deep within the East Pr Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with the scattered lakes, is as picturesque as it can be. Is as pic picturesque. Albeit, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you'll hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. Uh, how do I get back to that? And What does that do? The gatherers. Okay, there's a ton of stories here that I don't really care to read. But great. Okay, so let's figure out this. Okay. Ah. There we go. any other books. There's no other books. Ah, there it is. Okay, let's go back to this one. There we go. Ha! Take that. Hey, the key. I'll be there. Oh my goodness. Oh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to join the Ninja Nation and like this video if you did enjoy it. Uh, also, to the right of this video, there's uh, two different episodes, episode 3 and episode 4, uh, which will be coming out soon, and maybe when you're watching this, there's annotations on it taking you to that. Also, there's going to be a link in the description to the playlist for Amnesia, so you can uh, watch every episode there. Thanks!